Hey guys, what's up? It's Danielle. So welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be taking you through my cleaning, well, I can't really call it a closet, but it's a section of my house that I've dedicated to cleaning products pretty much. And in case you're wondering, this is actually the entryway to my basement. And if you see all the paint that got spilled on the floor, that actually happened not in 2021, but actually in 2020 when I first moved in. So, you know, just felt the need to decorate a little bit. But this, I realize, is a lot. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of moving parts and components. And this is way more than any normal person would ever need. But that being said, I'm going to take you guys through it all the same. So first things first, I have a door organizer. This, I believe, I got on sale from Bed Bath & Beyond. It's not my favorite just because the way the baskets sit in the, like, the support things. But, I mean, it does the job, so I can't really complain. I do have it partially drilled into the door, and you can't even tell. I mean, this is, in my opinion, kind of like a like a miscellaneous door anyways. So pretty much if I'm going to destroy any door, it's going to be this one. But up here, I just have some cleaning like stuff, like towels and what have you. Those are e-cloths at the top. And then these I use not only for cleaning, but also as like hand towels in the kitchen. I'm like really weird when it comes to that kind of stuff. And I like to have a brand new one like at least every day, twice a day. And then down here, I keep these baskets empty because I put the dirty hand towels and cleaning towels in there. Now, obviously this looks insane and I wholeheartedly admit that. You're gonna hear me say that quite a bit in this video. But up here, I will start on the right-hand side. I have my O Cedar mop bucket. This is the mop bucket where it splits the water. So you have the clean water that comes in right here and then you have the dirty water that goes into the bottom of the bucket. I actually really like that. And then up at the top, there's some, what are they called? It's like the wallflower stuff from uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, or not, oh my God, <laughs> from, not Bed Bath & Beyond, but, Bath and Body Works. There we go. And then I deal a lot with carpenter bees, especially in the summer. So I leave that carpenter bee spray right there because they just, they love my outside deck. Down here I have, this is like for a floor thing. And then these are like little Swiffer duster things. And then I have a couple of extra scrubby little doodads right here. These are different like hose pieces, I guess, and vacuum parts. I have a funnel. And then oddly enough, I have tap shoes right here because I love tap dancing and it's actually something I do for, you know, a workout. And I put them on right here and then I just go downstairs and do my thing. Right here, these are generally like the more all-purpose types of things. So I have alcohol, which I use to make my Dawn dish spray. And then obviously that's what the Dawn is for. I also use this for like general purpose cleaning. Sometimes I use it to mop my floors. It's just, it's amazing. I've even used it to grease like handles and stuff like that when I didn't have WD-40. And then I have some Easy Off. There's extra baking soda. Down here is an amalgamation of just sprays and soaps and things of that nature. So hand soap, dish soap, all three of these are glass and cooktop cleaners, or just glass cooktop cleaners, excuse me. And dust, which is fantastic. Cannot recommend that enough. This is Myers multi yeah, sorry, all-purpose spray. This stuff the rejuvenate cabinet and furniture cleaner this stuff is amazing i use it on my cabinets 
and it is just, I, it's perfect. And then down here, I have a lot, yes, I know, it's a lot of various types of Windex. I like to experiment, I like to try different things, and to be perfectly honest, I find that the original one is the best for getting my cat snot off of things. So I don't know who can use that information, but have at it. I also have stuff like Goo Gone. This is Lysol Concentrate, more dish soap, and an extra, what is it? It's like a dishwasher, drying, whatever thing. And then I have some Otoban, which I love. If you guys have not used that before, it is amazing. Down here, I have Tide, the powder kind, which I use to mop my floors primarily. I have carpet cleaner because my cat sometimes will puke and I also am a human and I drop stuff a lot. And then just more stuff to clean my floors, Mr. Clean, antibacterial, and then some Fabuloso. Also, I realize now that I did skip over my vacuum. So I actually have two of these. I have one for the main floor of my condo and I have one that is exactly the same that lives upstairs. And I did that on purpose because again, I don't wanna have to keep running back up and down the stairs. But this is the Bissell Corded, I don't actually remember what it's called, but it's Bissell and it's corded. I don't like cordless personally. And it is amazing. It's a little pricey, I think, but I've had really great results with Bissell. So I, I don't believe in Dyson personally, not anymore, but that's another story for another time. All right, this is my carpet cleaner. And again, I have this because my cat tends to puke. Also, I end up spilling stuff on the carpet. You get the idea. And then this is Otoban. That is white vinegar, which I use for a variety of things. Yes, I have a fishing pole in here. And then I just put in this shelf today, actually. And this is specifically for my cat's food and like all of his stuff. So I have his kibble in there, little cereal container from Walmart. And then that's the rest of it in the bag. And then I have his backup treats. And in here, these are like little, they call them like food enhancers or whatever. Basically, it's just like little extra treat, if you will. My cat has a very sensitive stomach, so I can't switch foods on him. And that's kind of a way to give him like something different to eat, if that makes sense. And then I have all of these cleaning supplies hanging. And yes, I know it is a lot, but we're going to go through each one. But first of all, I would just like to say these hook thingies are from, I believe Lowe's. I don't remember what brand they are. Maybe they're like Husky. But, I mean, I've had them since I moved in almost two years ago, and they work just fine. But right here, I have my O Cedar Spin Mop. Love that. Cannot recommend it enough. I have a level because my fridge, I don't know why it doesn't sit level. I think it's actually my floor, but I have to level it out every so often. Reusable duster. I have the handle for... Swiffer dusters. This actually goes with the little green thing with all the little nubbins right there. It's like for sweeping your floors. And then fly swatter. I have different scrub brushes, which I use for different things, primarily like cleaning parts of my deck outside when it gets warmer out. This is actually a UV flashlight. And the idea behind it is that you can see like pee spots and <laughs> things that you should have cleaned, but you didn't. And that was an impulse purchase because of TikTok, but I digress. This is just another little handle thing for dusting that I don't use as often. Broom and dustpan. And then 
I have this, which usually houses my extension cord that I use for my vacuum down here, but I have it on the vacuum just to make things easier. This is a scrub, like a scrub brush thing that I use for my deck and my front porch. And then I have an extra O Cedar mop head because the new ones are kind of hard to find. I have these dusting things from, what was it, OXO? And it also comes with one, like a fan attachment. And then, I don't know if you can see that, but there's an outdoor broom. And then last but not least right here, that is actually for painting. So I figured it's better to hold on to it. And then right here on this wall, I just have a little step stool. So that is everything. Again, I know this is a lot. I know it's absurd. And I know that not everybody has quite this much when it comes to cleaning stuff. But some of this was given to me by my mom because she was living with me at the end of last year. A lot of it, I will admit, I've accumulated by myself because I just, I love to clean. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully it gave you some ideas as to how you can store your cleaning products. Best advice I can give is you want to go up, not out. And yes, it looks bad. I will be the first to admit that. But it is functional. So, I mean, it really, you got to pick one or the other sometimes. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I will talk to y'all in my next video. Bye guys.